Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm starting this one off in a bit of a different area. Um, I'm still in my dressing gown. I've got my nice loungewear on from H&M. Uh, I'll leave it linked below if it's still available. I think they've actually just brought it out in cream and black, which I really liked, but I think it's out of stock already. Oh my god, I can't do that up one-handed. Um, I put on some of the tan luxe face drops last night so I've got a little bit of glow to my skin because my husband said I literally looked pale and I was like that's what almost two years of a new sun or well no holiday does to you so I'm currently in my kind of spare bedroom which is a mess I've got all that washing to put away behind me and this is actually my wedding dress and I really don't know what to do with it like I don't want to put it up the attic just in case it goes I don't know mouldy but then I feel like the box I bought is way too big. It could have been half the size of that. So I don't know whether to sell that and rebuy one. I really don't know what to do. And then that kind of pile of mess here is all to go um, in the study when it's done. Um, hopefully next month we're ordering our desk. It's kind of been going in and out of stock on the IKEA website for ages. Um, I'm just ordering like the basic kind of Malm. Malm? Malm is it? Yeah, Malm desk in kind of the black brown and these are some of our books um, that we want to put on some shelves which I'll insert a picture now I'm going to get them off Etsy they're about £56 for two oak shelves and they're about 70 centimetres long each so that's kind of everything ready to go in that room a couple of face masks on top there which are clean um, yeah this is some washing to put away that's an outfit I had on yesterday so it's a little bit of a mess in here um, yeah, so today's plan is not a lot, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to go downstairs, so I'll catch up with you down there. So I'll give you a sneak peek of our hallway um, while I'm walking down the stairs. Um, I'm so glad we went for the tiles we did, because look how nice they are. We've also had a new letterbox, which I know is really random, but this is a black one. It was silver. Our other one, for some reason, was completely leaking. It was like flooding the floor here, and we didn't want our new tiles to get ruined. So, yep, this is the hallway. I just need to sort out this situation around here. It's a bit of a mess at the minute. So I put this oak shelf up. I want to get, like, a frame for the top. And this was... Um, an old shoe rack which I kind of painted black on the ends which my husband didn't like at first but I don't mind it now let me put them away and you always end up putting more shoes out than what should be there so it looks like a mess anyway um, I've got Howden's catalogue there because we need to place an order for the doors which will be going back up here on kind of black um, slide in runner bracket so I need one here and one to go across here to cover like the kitchen so um yeah uh, also it was Chinese New Year yesterday and we were gonna get a Chinese but honestly I was so annoyed the takeaway place where we get our food from it was like over an hour wait so we ended up leaving it and having pasta instead but how cute is my little money cat I had him out ready to eat a Chinese but yeah no Chinese my gosh it's really bright here I've got the blinds open because we are um, do like a snowstorm at 11 o'clock um, it started lightly snowing this morning but nothing like last week or the week before um, but it's honestly so windy out it's actually like crazy the wind is unbelievable it was howling through the night I live right at the top of a hill so we're quite exposed up here so it's louder and I honestly couldn't believe the noise of the wind my cat really didn't like going out in it this morning so yeah it's Saturday the 13th of February it's Valentine's Day tomorrow um, my husband's off this weekend so we had planned on going for like a nice walk somewhere but honestly it's so cold out and the weather isn't looking great I'm not quite sure what our plans are um, He's just popped on the Xbox for some games with his friends and I've just been catching up on some vlogs. We've just been kind of doing our own thing. Um, 
I'm gonna do some really exciting things right now. I'm gonna clean the cutlery tray in the drawer in the kitchen. Um, and I need to sort out the cupboard with all like my saucepans in and lids and honestly it's such a mess and <laughs> you know when you just chuck stuff back in especially like food containers like the plastic ones um, they all keep like falling back out I really need to buy um, kind of like a second shelf to go in there like I picked up some from Home Bargains before so no not Home Bargains Home Sense but they're closed now because of the pandemic but um, sorry excuse the bare cupboard but for example these wire racks, I think I only paid about £6 for, and honestly it's like brilliant because you've got like all this extra space on top and I've got one in here for all our spices, so they're really handy to create more storage and I got a new one of these which if you watched my last video you'd see that my last one broke, we've got them all up here as well, um, the cupboards are a bit messy so excuse them. And then um, yesterday I made some more banana and chocolate oat muffins which I'll leave oh my god I can't open this on my own they are honestly so tasty I follow this girl called weight loss with Beth and she posts really um, great recipes and these I think are only 139 calories per um, one and they are amazing last night me and my husband had one each we warmed them up in the microwave for like a minute and had um, some Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream with them it was like a bit of a treat so yeah they are really nice and I also need to fill up my Weetabix container because I had the last two this morning so I need to rinse that and um, put it away and also these need to find a home because they're not living on my counter so I bought these in my last vlog if you'd seen from Argos that we haven't actually used this set yet so I might put it through the dishwasher today so it's ready then to use so yeah um, honestly it's not that exciting around here honestly I can't believe we're still in this like lockdown um, honestly there's really not much to do I just kind of want to get um some bits and bobs done around the house um i don't know really if i flip you back around this is our dining room situation at the moment so i really like the dining room obviously the money cat's not normally there <laughs> it's rather like tacky gold <laughs> but um yeah i was thinking like do i change up like the styling on this table but i do really like it but I think um, once those studies done upstairs, one of the things I want to take up there is this. So my husband had um, a Dom Perignon vintage, if it focuses, mm, doesn't want to focus, it's a vintage 2008. Why wouldn't that focus? Hmm. Anyway, I covered it with some wax to make like a dripping candle effect on it and I think it looks really, really great. So that's going to be one of our items for our shelving up there, but it's living there for now until the shelving's ready. And then this is kind of just one of my little dancing statues, so I don't know whether to put this back in my dressing room and just not put anything back there. And this is a little Beauty and the Beast glass ornament that my husband bought me when we were in Florida. Um, I think one of the first times we went, possibly, or second, I can't remember, but um, I think I eventually want that in our bedroom, like on a shelf or my dressing table, but at the minute, upstairs isn't really ready, but yeah, I kind of like this, and I think without obviously that bottle and that, it'll look a little bit more minimal, which is kind of the look I want to go for, and then the living room, there's this rug I really want from Ikea at the minute to replace here, ignore that biscuit my cat had a dreamy and just ignored one of them <laughs> but there's this really nice rug which I'll insert a picture of here it was £79 from Ikea and I really liked it and it's got like our colouring in and I thought maybe it'd be nice to have a rug with a little hint of like the rustic kind of burnt oranges in and for £79 I thought do I really need it because this rug is nice enough it was only £30 from Ikea and we've got the matching large one out of the conservatory and I quite like the idea that they match. But then this rug went from £79 down to £59. And I thought, oh my god, that's such a bargain. So I added it to my basket, but it said it was out of stock. So then IKEA have actually reduced it to £29. Um, but it's still out of stock. Like when I go to... Because obviously IKEA shut, 
they're saying that it's not available for collection at my local store which is Cardiff which to be honest is like a 40 50 minute drive from here so I don't even know if like that's an essential journey I'd probably get stopped by the police and go find but then it's not available for home delivery either so I'm really annoyed because I don't want to buy the desk yet because delivery is 40 pounds to my house sorry let me flip you around so yeah delivery is like 40 pound to my house so i don't want to pay 40 pound for a desk and then the rug come back in stock and then i end up paying like i wouldn't pay another 40 pound like that's 80 pound in delivery so i've signed up to like this alert with ikea to be notified via text when the rug comes back in stock but so far it's been like over a week and i haven't received any text so yeah i don't know but if i do get that rug this rug will probably go upstairs in my dressing room or even our bedroom um, when it's done. I don't know. Just trying to slowly get things done here. So the living room and dining room I'd say are done. Hall and landing are done apart from the doors and we need to put the mirror up on the top of the landing and I'm still trying to <laughs> get away with um, ordering like a really narrow console table. I'll insert a picture of the one I want here on an Etsy. It's not even like a table, it's more like a shelf. It's like one of our oak beams we have, but with like them, um, is it hairpin legs? But my husband's really against one, so we'll see about that. Like I'm not 100% bothered if we don't have it, but I just think it would look so nice at the top of the stairs with our arch mirror above it. And just like, I don't know, a vase and even like that Dom Perignon bottle like I've decorated on it. Just something really simple just to have like a focus at the top of the stairs. But we shall see. Um, but yeah, I um, I think me and my husband are popping out to Home Bargains later. We need some cat food for our cat because she is literally the world's fussiest eater at the moment. And she really likes these, um, uh, what are they called? Felix the brand have brought out this like food that's called shreds and she loves them so we need to get more of them and while we're out we need more coffee syrup um the coffee syrup we normally buy is the skinny syrup from home sense but obviously home sense is closed and last time it opened in between lockdowns i should have really stocked up but i honestly didn't think we'd still be in this situation and um i went on amazon because someone said it was on there but it's 10 pound 50 a bottle and in home sense it's only like 350 I think so I'm not paying that so I picked up this one the other day from home bargains but honestly it's awful um let me show it to you now it's by a brand called the skinny food co and this is that vanilla one and I think it was only like it was quite cheap it was about two or three pound but I really don't like it, it's just got no taste to it and we've ended up using so much just to get some flavour luckily it's uh, zero calories but honestly not worth it but at the same time I picked up um, like a toffee one which was in a glass bottle and that one's like a lot nicer so I think we're just gonna go and pick some of that up today and also I really want more of this coffee I picked it up the other day on Monday night in our food shop because I forgot how much I liked it. It's the, is it Califia? 100% Arabica coffee cold brew with almond milk and it's vegan and dairy free. And honestly this is so nice. It's not really dairy free when I make it because I add um, semi skimmed milk to it because I didn't have any oat milk. But um, yeah, super nice if you haven't tried already. Um, yeah, so honestly... Um, I'll probably just do a quick get ready with me this morning and um, yeah that's about it to be honest nothing exciting here excuse the kitchen as well it's such a mess we still haven't we're waiting for our kitchen designer to send us a plan but honestly I don't even know if we're going to be doing it this year now um, especially with like everything being so uncertain um, yeah so I'm going to let you go I'm going to clean them bits in the kitchen like I said then I'll probably come back on when I'll get ready so and I am going to place a haul this weekend for I think either Mango, Zara or H&M it'll be one of them um there's a few pieces like I like in Mango at the moment but as I said before I don't go placing orders for the sake of it when I want to buy stuff I'm going to do it for the reason that I actually want to keep some items because I don't want to promote kind of like buy all this and then I'm going to go return it all while you go and spend your money. Um, I don't agree with that. Um, yeah, so sorry this is a really random video but honestly 
there's not much else to do. I really wanted to go out today and shoot some Instagram content because I've got some like my feed is like looking really good. I still find it so hard to grow on there. Like so many people like hit the 20k or 10k mark and 20k and I just don't know what I'm doing wrong but to be honest I'm just trying to have more fun with it now um so yeah I don't even know if we can go and get Instagram content because one we're not really allowed to drive anywhere to do it and two the weather is blinking awful and it's so cold out it's unbelievable so yeah I'm gonna stop nattering and I will get back to you a bit later so there it is very clean cutlery tray it's very basic it's one of the plasticky ones but it will do so I'm just gonna pop all our cutlery back in. But if you're wondering as well, this hammer defect cutlery is from Dunnell Mill. I'll leave it linked below if it's still available. Got a little matcha spoon. Uh, bottle opener mini grater, some cocktail sticks which I've barely got any left and the lid is so annoying it keeps opening all the time I might just get rid of them um, and then I've got pasta drainer, random cheese knife, spatula which we need a new one, a whisk and then a couple of straws which I use for my iced coffee and a straw cleaner and then I've got chopsticks and a random fork which I usually take to work oh, and a scissors and a potato peeler now I need to clean the rest of this up sorry about the bad lighting but the cutlery tray is all clean and sorted a bit more organized so I've got all our spatulas, spoons and whisks here and this is all stuff like potato masher, garlic press, ice cream scoop, uh, pizza wheel, potato peeler, tin opener and some, I think those are for eggs are they? I don't even know. But yeah, that's all done so now to move on to the cupboard. I'm going to have to duck down to film. Um nothing in here to prop you up on. Um, so I've just um, cleaned the cutlery tray downstairs and the cupboard so I'm just about to wash my face so I thought I'd put you on a time lapse, a time lapse because if you want to see my morning skin routine um, just I'll leave my video linked below so yeah. cleansed and toned my face I'll put moisturizer on um, just before I do my makeup I just wanted to talk about this new tough paste which is really random but it's by Colgate and it's called natural extracts and it's coconut with ginger oil and it's the most bizarre tough paste I've ever used if you look at the consistency it's like a yellow gel it's actually the front I kind of like it in a weird way Typical, my battery just died on my toothbrush, but luckily I just finished. Um, I need to go and put that on charge. But yeah, my skin is a little, I don't know, a little bit patchy from that tan, I don't know. I've got a few breakouts down here. Um, I've got a bad habit of like touching my skin here or leaning on my face whilst I'm working, so I don't know if it's like a mix of that. So now I've washed my face and brushed my teeth, um, I can go and get ready. Every time I film, you're like too low down. Oh, let me see if this box raises you up enough. Or maybe too much.
that's actually not too bad. I'm really sorry about the, I don't know, what's it called, like, an aesthetically pleasing background. I don't know, most YouTubers have got like fancy, I don't know, reels and racks and mine's just covered in washing, so a bit of reality there for you. Um, so lately I've been using um, E45 moisturiser because I find my skin is quite dry, especially I've got a patch here which is like super dry. So I'm just going to use some of this on my skin. I also find it's like a really good base for makeup. It's so moisturising, you're probably thinking, oh my god, why are you putting on so much? But honestly... Honestly, it's so moisturising, it's unbelievable. Um, I've been keeping it by my bedside table because I've been putting it on my hands before going to bed. I think I paid... Um, I think it was like 5 99 for a big tub from Home Bargains, but the little one was something like 2 99 and you get um, 350 grams in this and it worked out cheaper. So honestly, it's so handy. I've been putting it on my like hands. Um, I even use it on my um, body after I've showered sometimes if I fancy like a full pamper. Um, I'm not going to talk you through all my makeup. I'm just probably going to put you on a time lapse because you've seen it all before. I'll link down my latest makeup routine down below. I tend to use the same products, so I'm just going to do it fast, but video you because I'm kind of doing some sort of vlog. Um, so yeah, I'll see you once I've done this. Uh oh, actually it finally run out of my foundation. The only one I've got left now is the 3N, which is probably too dark for my skin at the moment. Um, I have got this Protect and Perfect one from number 7, so I might just use this up. Um, and I have got the It Cosmetics one, so I'll probably use this one first because it's smaller. Um, it's not as if I'm going to go travelling anytime soon. Yeah, I think this one will be too dark and I don't really want to waste something that's going to turn me a bit orange. Because even though I put a bit of glow on my face, it's not that different. Like, I don't need a darker foundation. So I'm just going to use the It Cosmetics CC Plus. Um, this has got a SPF of 50 in, which is really good because even though the weather's awful, you should still wear Sun Factor pretty much all the time. I don't know if this is a bit thick though for every day, so we'll see. <laughs> So just because I haven't used this foundation for a while in my videos, I'm just going to show you what it's like on the skin. It is a fuller coverage, so it is heavier. I'm just going to spray some of my um, Revolution CBD Nourishing Spray. And then I'm going to take my sponge. As you can see, the spots on my chin camera makes me look so pale. I think I need to sort out the white balance on my camera, but I have no idea how to do that. Yeah, I do not look like that in person. Maybe it's because I'm by the window. Like, if you look at my... That's probably a truer colour. It's actually a really good colour map, but good news, in two weeks I'm finally having the blinds fitted in this room because we've still got the ugly nets, which we've had since we moved in, which were the previous owners, and that is like three years in March. Oh, and oh. see if you're happy. I've tried to put everything you use more at the front. Yeah. Quite happy with that finish. Right, now I've done that foundation, I'm going to just put you on a time lapse, a time lapse, a time lapse for the rest because you've seen the rest of this look.
So there's my finished makeup. I'm not doing any powder today, you know. Um, I gotta take this off, it's giving me a headache. No, that is a look. Oh my gosh, I washed my hair last night, now it's already a mess. My colour has grown out so much. Still torn on what to do with my hair because I don't know whether to stick with the blonde and have it redone so normally it would be up about here and the bits of the front but uh, I quite like my hair dark as well I don't know mm, I don't know whilst I've been doing my makeup here oh my god the weather outside is like literally awful um, so I doubt I'll be going too far on my walk. So I've just put an outfit on for the day. It's not really exciting. It's a pair of black skinny jeans. These are honestly the nicest skinny jeans I've ever bought in my life. These are by um, Bieber Official. I picked them up from, I think it was House of Fraser when they were closing down in Cardiff. And honestly, they are skin tight. They never lose their shape and they're still a really good colour even though I wash them at least probably like once a week I'd say because they say not to wash denim I suppose they do look a little bit faded around there but to be honest I'm impressed I've had them a good two or three years maybe and yeah definitely need another pair I think they're about £70 full price but I think I had them for about 42 and they've got like the gold hardware on they are a little snug at the minute because I put on a few pounds during lockdown which to be honest is okay but I am eating a bit healthier again and I've noticed um kind of my shape changing a little bit I have been trying to do a calorie deficit but it's harder than it looks um, especially when you don't cook. Um, I've got this mohair jumper on which is from H&M. I think you can see my black bra underneath. That was a rookie error. Never mind. It's not as if anyone's gonna see me in this because I'll have my coat on. Um, but yeah, I love this jumper. It's super fluffy. Um, it does get a little bit itchy which is obviously natural because it's mohair. But um, I do need to buy, buy like um, a body or like a vest top to wear underneath it. Um, I've tucked my hair in because when I put my jumper on it like caught and whenever I see my hair like this I'm like oh do I cut it short but then I like it long too. So this is my outfit and then I've, at the minute I've got my really scruffy old Uggs on. Um, I'm probably going to wear, I wanted to wear my nice Zara cowboy boots but they haven't been sprayed yet and it's kind of snowing at the moment so I think I'll either put my Dr Martens on or maybe my Timberland boots probably not very stylish and I'll put this coat on which is my checkered one from Zara which I've had years um, I got some leather driving gloves not that I'm driving but I need them and somewhere in this pile I've got a woolly hat which is from Hollister which, to be honest, I'd normally wear my black fedora hat with this outfit, but I think the moment I step outside, it would blow away. So, yeah, nothing exciting. I'm just going to catch up on a few um, videos whilst I wait for my husband to get ready to go out, and then I will try and film um, in any stores that we go in. But honestly, it's so windy. I don't want to, like, make my camera blow away or anything, or drop it, knowing me. Um, also, this is a sneak peek. When I say sneak peek, this is my haul. There's nothing else to see. Um, so as you can see, it's looking pretty good. I am happy. It is a shame about them pipes. Like, we could have blocked them in, but, you know, this is really not our forever home. This is our first home. We've been here three years in March. We don't really plan on staying here any longer than maybe four to five years more. I don't know. See what happens. You can't plan anything really with houses due to money and stuff and like the housing market. But we absolutely adore this house. If anything, we'd never want to get rid of it. I think what we've done is really nice um, from what you can see here. Obviously, the kitchen is the biggest um, thing we want to change next. Um, but obviously, kitchens are so expensive. Um, I don't know whether it'd be worth asking for kind of um, an X display because I follow this girl on Instagram. Um, if I can find her name, I'll leave it linked below. But she um, got an X display kitchen for like £500. And honestly, it was absolutely gorgeous. And because this isn't their forever home, we know 
that we don't want to spend like an absolute arm and a leg but we want to do the kitchen up to a better standard to sell the house because it's just very botched at the moment the cooker is in desperate need of replacing and the cupboards are to be fair they're solid oak they're nice enough but it's just a bit too traditional for us and this bit is really dangerous here as you can see the wall stops here but the counter comes out to here the amount of times I've walked into this corner is ridiculous so one of the designs we've had done we've had like a curved counter come in here which I think would be a lot more friendly especially one day when we have kids here you know it's just not practical excuse the mess of the shoes they're not normally we have like at least one pair each there not like five um so yeah the plan is to kind of um we did start painting it gray but then we thought we need a new kitchen it needs plastering we're hoping to have underfloor heating um if it's not too pricey just in obviously this section because it's not a lot of floor space hopefully it's not as expensive as people make out to be but we just want to see what the condition of the floor is underneath this etc so yeah so i'm hoping to have um built-in fridge freezer so it's hidden it's the same style i'd love an american one but there's just not enough room in this place so yeah all built in completely so it would make it really nice and flush either kind of like a pewter or like a stone cupboard i think i'm not quite sure about gray now because like would it be too much with the gray we've got in here or would it tie in quite nice like that colour is the colour that's on there, it's just the wood version so it is lighter. But yeah, so either grey or kind of like a stony cupboard and then I think black hardware. So I want black handles, I want um, a black sink, black taps, black cooker, black microwave, black kettle, toaster, you name it. Anything that's like hardware on show, I want black because I just think it looks really sleek. I want black counters so you won't be able to see the sink, it's just kind of all kind of blending in. Um, I did really want like an oak counter but my husband doesn't like them as much but I think it would suit this house so much because we've got like the hints of wood throughout so I think an oak counter would look nice but maybe black would be more practical, like white clean, I don't know. We'll see anyway. It might not even happen this year anyway. It's such a mess out here. I just find it's just really cluttered. Like I've got stuff up there. I've got I hate magnets on the fridge. That's why I move them around the side. Um, I've never liked magnets anyway on like full display. display. But when we get a built-in one, they'll have to go anyway. Um, but yeah, I just want like all bits like this in the cupboards and completely out of the way. So I want anything like minimal. So only on this counter would probably be some sort of like um, like... What do you even call them? Something like that, just to cut stuff on. It's not like a chopping board, it's like a granite thing. I don't know. Anyway, I literally just want a kettle and toaster on this side. I don't want anything else. Or oh, maybe a coffee machine, because we really need one of them. And then over here, I just want... Well, not even the microwave will be on display, because I've asked them to design a full cupboard um, to go down to the counter. So the only thing over here would be the draining rack, and maybe a utensil pot in the corner. I don't want any cupboards here because um, we'll have a fancy like extractor fan and like all these utensil rack which was there when we came here I just want in like a pot over there or even in a cupboard or anything. So yeah um, that is everything. Uh, this is my recycling basket currently. <laughs> I know it's not aesthetically pleasing but it's so handy so much easier running out to the garage with all of that. Um, so yeah I will I will catch you up a bit later. I am just going to catch up on some videos. Hi everyone, I just got back home now. Honestly, it was so cold out. I didn't take my gloves off, so I didn't take my camera to the car. And to be honest, all we did was go into Home Bargains to pick up some cat food and some Nutella ready for our pancakes on Tuesday, um, which would be yesterday by the time this goes live. And oh my God, it is absolutely freezing out and then we did go to the new taco bell that's opened but the queue was so long we just didn't wait it was just far too cold so yeah we just got home we're just gonna have some dinner now and then i might just watch a film and maybe make a hot chocolate because it's freezing and i need to warm up pronto and <laughs> um, so yeah not an exciting vlog really um might even end it here to be honest so um really sorry for a boring video um but yeah there's not really a lot going on um i think i'll place an order maybe later on for a haul from maybe mango or zara or something um so there will be a haul maybe a week today as long as it comes on time 
so yeah um if i don't come back on um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps it grow and yeah i will see you next week thank you for watching bye